Hello everybody, this is SMK here, and today's video is a local multiplayer, a, a few local multiplayer matches versus one of my friends. Uh, he, the, the, and I just like saved what one was actually really good. Uh, we had a pretty good set here with Gogeta versus Golden Frieza. Uh, but I will say one thing, and I'm going to do a separate, like probably just two separate videos on this. But the local multiplayer camera with some characters is really, really trash. I can't believe that they released it in the state that it is, but they did. And so I'm going to have to do, I'm thinking of doing a video on like showing case, serious examples of uh, characters, combos that cause the camera to lock in place and not reset. Because that's what's going on. The camera isn't resetting when it does the uh, special dynamic camera changes for certain characters combos. And then the other video I wanted to do which is basic and I'm thinking of doing is basically just on how you have no options at all for local multiplayer and how that's just a sin. It's just shafting the uh, local multiplayer. But yeah, see like look, the camera there, like right there, the, that's an example right there. The camera just totally messed up. He couldn't see what was going on and I took advantage of it. I could actually see um and, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I, we played about maybe two hours of local multiplayer or something like that, or maybe an hour and a half. I can't really remember. Um, and that, this was just one of the matches, one of the sets we had. Um, he mains Frieza, whereas I don't main Gogeta. I'm just familiar with, with how to, I just figured out some stuff with him, as you saw in that first match. Um... But no, uh, I I wish um, the local multiplayer was better. It's really weird because pre-release, when we were watching uh, stuff from Rhyme Style and Afro Senju, the local multiplayer camera was just fine. Uh, they were doing all the combos for all those characters they were allowed to pick, and the camera didn't just fr you know lock in place because of a character's combo. Like that didn't happen at all. And they played characters like Goku at, at points and um, Vegeta. And they didn't lock in place. It's it's really strange. I, I'm just not sure um, why what happened. Like, what did they change between release and... I mean, between pre-release and final. What did they change? Uh, maybe it's not even what they changed. Maybe just something ended up um, happening as a result of something they, they changed. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to talk about these matches here. So I'm just messing around with Big Bang, with the uh, fake Big Bang Kamehameha thing. <laughs> Bluff Kamehameha, yeah, I'm just messing around with that, showing him that it drains his key, and uh, it has deceptive range. Um, and then now we're just sort of playing some nice little stamina stuff here, and I don't think I get it. Oh no, I do. I get the stamina break combo. That's what I go for with Gogeta. That's his guaranteed one, the Super Saiyan 4 one, I mean. And he recovered quickly because he had less than only... He had just barely less than two bars of stamina. So, uh, I didn't get as much damage out of it as I hoped. And uh, I do a bunch of, bunch of perfect blocks in, the, in this set, as you can see. Uh, it's a little bit unfair. But, I mean, it's only because offline multiplayer, you can do timing-based stuff more easily because you don't have to worry about any latency or lag. Um, and then, oh, he catches me because I'm just, you know, being cocky with Gogeta there with the uh, after image strike. <laughs> and I'm just messing around because he has less than, you know, he's almost dead. Um, but no, like, local multiplayer can be really fun. I just wish the, the you weren't forced to use certain characters or play on, like, certain stages. Because de there's definitely some camera problems even worse on places like Cell Games Arena... Uh, Planet Namek has some weird stuff going on. Um, Frickin' uh, Sup the Supreme Kai's world has problems. Basically, any stage that has cam like obstacles will lead to camera problems. And uh, that's obviously not good. So we just opted to end up picking Hyperbolic Time Chamber the rest of the time we played. And this is, this is just one of those games where we did that. Um... So, yeah, it, it's, it's fun. I, it could be way more fun if they fix the issues with it. Okay, so 
we're just sort of playing a little bit of neutral game here. He gets the first hit, um, but I decide to vanish. And then he sort of like, I guess he sort of did a sidestep there. I didn't even notice or realize um, at the time. And he's got my stamina way down now. Um, I think I could probably do a stamina break there with that elbow hit, but um, he doesn't have low enough for me to, you know, for it to be worthwhile for me to attempt. So, <laughs> and I've never even tried it yet, so. Um, now I'm just doing extra damage here. Uh, I decided to stupidly waste some stamina on that vanish combo there. He drops his combo. Um... Let's see. This last one here was much closer than the other two, by far. And this is why I saved the set, because it was pretty entertaining anyway, in its own right. And I get the grab in the middle of his combo there. <laughs> There's some really, really, really funny stuff. Oh, and then he got me. And then he does Emperor's Death Beam. Oh, man, I think that's going to basically be the game. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think he, yep, 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 he got me, yep, GG, that was, uh, that was pretty much it, um, hope you enjoyed, and I will definitely have more videos out throughout the week, thanks for watching.